Doja Cat's on a mad one. And Doja Cat is doing the same thing that a lot of Kanye fans had to suffer through when Kanye decided to go down the Jesus route and then when Kanye decided he hated Jews. It's just one of the things that happens to most fans you have to kind of deal with in real time. And for me, I kind of have a lot of sympathy with Doja Cat because I can understand that it must be difficult being her and then realizing that you don't actually like the fans that you've cultivated over the years and maybe stardom came to you too quickly you went from being relatively unknown to being one of the biggest stars that exist out there there's a video currently at the moment from tom dark where he said allegedly um doja cat has more monthly listens on spotify than the weekend doesn't necessarily mean she's bigger than the weekend i still think the weekend can do an arena tour on his own that probably doja cat can never do but it still kind of shows the kind of the scale that she's kind of operating at and the stages that she's on that like she scale is huge but i can also understand at that level that maybe you lose touch with your audience you start to hate your stands they start to annoy you blah 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 so it feels like she's purposely going out of her way to annoy her fans to get them to all fuck off so she's left with a core group of people that she actually likes and that she can actually kind of be proud of or whatever it may be there's something in it of course or she just might be uh a little bit of an annoying trolly type of personality i think it's probably two things that can be right at the same time so the latest thing that she's done at the moment is post a picture on instagram where she's wearing a t-shirt that features sam hyde and if you know if you're on the internet you'll know that sam hyde is a little bit of a troll right some people describe him as a neo-nazi but he's a little bit of a troll uh, mostly on the right side of things so people on social media definitely don't like him and he said some racy things online about race and gender and sexuality and blah 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 you know the 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 generic stuff that you these people say online and whatever it may be i know him from just the R I R L streams and whatnot and obviously some of the influence of boxing things and his ongoing beef with that guy who keeps ducking him i forgot his fucking name but who does a content cop thing so he's kind of well known in, in the kind of you know this the kind of scene streaming scene that i'm kind of a part of but obviously outside of that he's just probably seen as a fucking demon a devil right because people describe him as a neo-nazi so you can imagine what the fright that these guys had when they f discovered who he was by typing him in onto fucking google and reading some of the shit he gotten up to especially written by the mainstream media so he's going to paint him out to be a monster and they're like oh my god why is she wearing his t-shirt obviously doja is a bit of a pussy because she decided to take the picture down and then crop the t-shirt out and then post loads of emojis on their rolling her eyes and kind of trolling her fan base so she's clearly enjoying the fact that she constantly keeps poking and probbing and upsetting her fans and this is probably off the back of a fairly lackluster album scarlet i didn't really you know it was kind of a bit of a letdown considering all the hype around it good elements i said before in my review it's it was not good but it still kind of displayed how much better she is than most girls if that makes sense it's a really thing, strange thing to say i know but even though it was crap it still showed that she's so much better than everybody else so even though crap stuff is better than everybody else which is a bit upsetting and probably a little bit um, demoralizing for the other girls coming up but my question is this how far does this go and does this actually hurt or influence her in the real world like will it come at, will it come will there come a point where this will catch up to her and the trolling won't be fun anymore and she'll go back to being a you know a kind of underground quote-unquote artist because i think for the longest time she didn't want to be an underground artist There's videos of her online crying about wanting to be famous and wanting to make it she's been grinding for ages there's videos i played of her before freestyling like 10 years ago she's wanting to be famous for a long time so i'm sure if it ever was to get taken away from her she'd be gutted but it's clear to see that she also doesn't like the fan base that she has which is her prerogative right you sometimes i can imagine as an artist it can be weird when you really do blow up super crazy i think maybe kiss me is a is it kiss me with scissor whatever that track might have been the one that really got her going in a big way and it could just be a little bit you know overwhelming and maybe the fans that you then get and the expectation that you have just makes you feel uneasy and you want to just shake them off so maybe this is an attempt but how far do you go and can it really have some real life consequences or damages where it starts to kind of hamper her sales and her career because we've seen a little bit of it i feel like scarlet sells beast 50 to 70 grand first week considering the level of artist she is it's pretty bad um maybe not the worst because it was without features and shit rarely hardly any promo i don't think she's in the interview for scarlet i don't think so she kind of kept herself to herself the tour is starting soon so that'll be good but maybe 50 to 70 grand is fine for first week but i think for the scale of art that she is she should be on 100k first week easy but maybe it's a reflection on her pissing off her fans i don't really know um but i'm interested to see how this plays out
The only thing that I'm curious to see about Adoja, because I think this is a really interesting side of things, is just how her identity thing. I get the feeling that she's somebody that, I don't know, just doesn't identify a lot with the black race, which is okay. But I think in America, there's definitely an issue with that because she people can't pigeonhole her. You know what I mean? It's hard to kind of put her in a box. She kind of occupies rap, hip hop, R&B, pop world. But she then also doesn't occupy certain boxes racially she looks a certain way but then she's clearly into a certain type of dude who's a kind of you know sam hyde incel looking dude which is basically now code for ugly and i've always wondered how that must be to be that outwardly because i've kind of grown up being the guy that was accused of only liking white girls when i was younger because of the stuff i was into which is ironic because i haven't really dated many right um i've kind of gone out with every single race under the sun um when i was super super young growing up i had a really hard time attracting black girls i tried my best when i was younger but they didn't like me because at the time i was one of the only people in my area that would skateboard that listened to like heavy metal music listened to punk music and shit i wore band t-shirts had like spiky wristbands and stuff and wore massive cargo pants and skate shoes and whatever maybe right so people would think of me a little bit weird so i wouldn't really tick the boxes of a conventional black dude especially at that time i understand but then obviously when i got to college i realized it wasn't what I was wearing and my vibe that actually turned me off to the black girls. It was just I had no game. I had no riz. I didn't realize at the time. I thought it was because of the way I was dressing. I was into skateboards. They don't give a fuck about that. The cute boy is a cute boy. It's just I had no riz. So I got some riz and then suddenly, you know, the, 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 the Nubian queen started to like man more. But then over time, because of my experiences and when I started going out in places, I just started to hook up and date with loads of people it didn't matter who they were right as long as i was into them because again I'm, I'm somebody that's not really based on race and stuff i'm mostly a personality person um as well like i mean as long as somebody's got a great vibe i can usually rock with it i'm not somebody that's kind of oh my gosh yes that this yes that it's mostly just a vibe personality thing so that can open me up to a lot of people so i did get opened up to a lot of people no pun intended and i had my fun but whenever someone would ask me what you're into it's never been a race thing and it's always perplexed me when people are like oh i only like white girls i only like black people and it's just a strange thing because it almost sounds like you're fetishizing a race and you're also discounting an entire other races out there just because they don't happen to be the race that you particularly like it's just a strange thing and i think for me personally i would imagine the world love comes in different shapes sizes colors whatever and not allowing yourself to be open to that is strange and just only focusing on one particular group of people just limits it especially nowadays with the internet and social media why would you limit yourself to one kind of person when there's this whole group of people out there that you could potentially find who could be your mate um for long and long or someone to just have a good time with i never understood that but doja clearly is that kind of person who specifically likes a certain type of person and i'm wondering if that's had a part to play in her struggles or whatever's been going on. I don't know. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't, but it's interesting to watch from the outside in because I've always been the opposite. I've always been trying to push away from this label that people will be putting me and be like, actually, my dating history and people I've been with is very, very broad, very diverse. Um, you know, it basically looks like a United Colors of Benetton advert. So I don't really, you know, abhor that kind of label just because I'm not a conventional quote unquote, whatever that means, type of black person, which is also a bit of an insult, a little bit of a backhand and insult because, you know, there's no, you shouldn't, you know, there's no one um, prototype of what a black person is meant to look like, but it must be even weirder with Doja because she's mixed race, right? Because she has the black, half black, half white thing going on. So that's a whole different thing. Because there's always there's always a segment of mixed race people that I've grown up with, especially in my country, in the UK, where some of them maybe identify more with the white side because they grew up with a white parent and then they start to despise the black side because the, the dad was absent and they have a lot of trouble with them and maybe whatever they get told certain things at home that makes them look at the black side with the bad eye whatever loads of things basically happen your race your how you raise the family the friends around you the circumstances to affect how you view certain people so i'm not judging anything but i'm just curious to see how this plays out for doja because it's a dangerous game it feels like it's a really dangerous game because at the end of the day her fans are the ones that put her on as much as she's the talent as much as she's the fucking star the fans also play their part there's only so much you can annoy your fans before as soon as you made it it's as soon as you can lose it and that'll be unfortunate because she's too talented to be out here 
you know, being an underground artist. Like she deserves to be on the biggest platform, but I'm also understanding and sympathetic of her struggle, you know, because you're a big star, everything's scrutinized. You can't just wear a fucking t shirt. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's dissecting it and shit and turning it into a big topic like I am. Who would have funked it? Who would have funked it? 